Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Bad news for fraud Ford $700,000 jackpot, major movie deal, and more, said she had nothing to gain. When contemplating the possibility of humiliatingly derailing an apparently respectable person's career, harming his family, conceivably destroying his life. I'm sorry I have to point out that glib talking points flatly don't cut it. Consider what young conservatives Andrew Mark Miller writes about Blasey Ford v. Kavanaugh. One of the silliest arguments in favor of believing Christine Ford's uncorroborated allegations against Brett Kavanaugh was that of course, Ford is telling the truth because she has no reason to lie. She has no reason to subject herself to this scrutiny and she doesn't gain anything by coming forward. H. How can you possibly argue she doesn't gain anything? She had the opportunity to change the course of history and stop Trump from adding a conservative judge to the bench. Second of all, she instantly became a liberal hero. The The Daily Wire pitches in this. Christine Blasey Ford has already been nominated by her alma mater for a Distinguished Alumna Award. Predictably, the reason is her speaking truth to power. The website reminds us of Anita Hill who, back in 1991, accused SCOTUS Justice Clarence Thomas of sexual harassment. Hill has now had an HBO movie and a documentary glorify her testimony. In her letter nominating Dr. Ford, Jennifer Ho, a professor of English at UNC, said the former alumna's testimony was something that was extraordinary and how ordinary it was. She told the truth about a sexual assault she experienced when she was 15 years old at the hands of Judge Brett Kavanaugh. Miller anticipates there are additional awards and recognition in the pipeline for the 51-year-old psychology professor. And I suspect not many observers are aware the ordeal has yielded some financial benefits for Blasey Ford. CBS News reports, two GoFundMe accounts made on behalf of Dr. Christine Blasey Ford and her family have raised over $700,000 in donations. 700 large? We're not talking chump change. Say what you will, that is not exactly nothing to gain. Look, from the start, I suspended judgment and resolved to hear out both slash all sides in the Blasey Ford slash Kavanaugh dustup. Notwithstanding the Supreme Court nominee slash now justice's gold-plated reputation and curriculum vitae, I understand any person is capable of villainy. I'm a Christian and Romans 6.23 settled that question for me long ago, all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. People surprise us, frequently darkly and uncomfortably. Individuals who are stellar examples in one area can end up real stinkers in others. An apparently upstanding man can cloak baneful secrets. A seemingly kindly woman victim can speak inaccurately, or even dishonestly. So when this controversy initially erupted, I wanted to give the principals a chance to make their case before I declaimed, ridiculous. He's clearly innocent. Or that poor woman. How could that creep have done that to her? Eventually. I more or less settled on the likelihood something cripplingly grievous had happened to the lady accuser, but the evidence indicated it hadn't been visited on her by Brett Kavanaugh. I felt genuinely sorry for her conspicuous distress, but not so sorry that I wanted a probably innocent man railroaded into ignominy over it. But, I gotta tell ya. The more information that comes out about Christine Blasey Ford, the more time that passes, the more potholes in her claims are becoming visible and I'm getting closer to deciding there's no reason to credit her allegations with any credibility. In a recent piece, Dr. Don Boys roughly tracks with my quickly hardening conclusions. During the hearings, I believed Ford was honest but mistaken about her attacker. I felt sorry and pity for her, however, it is now my opinion that she is a liar and tool of evil, unprincipled Democrats. She lied about her fear of flying, she lied about being claustrophobic. She lied about the polygraph test, she lied about her ex-boyfriend's credit card and charged $600 on it, and she lied about when her second front door was installed. My daddy the philosopher with a sixth grade education said, anyone who will lie will do anything. Daddy was right. We can toss in there the numerous fault lines in her sensationalistic indictments from the get-go. The inability to recall sizable chunks of rather significant details, inaccurate claims of eyewitness confirmation, etc. I hesitate to assume anything about human beings. One of my go-to-life mottos, and life experience and the daily news second it every day, is the straightforward phrase, people are complex. The reasons for their actions, the motivations, the expectations? Predictably befuddling, oftentimes downright impenetrable. National Review's Kevin Williamson proffers a commonly overlooked but indispensable consideration when contemplating emotionally crackling situations like this controversy. Why? is a question that is not easily addressed by indisputable evidence. Did she lie? Is a different kind of question, that the accusations against, Kavanaugh, 
are inconsistent, and that many of those close to the facts have disputed the claims as inventions, is dismissed as inconsequential. Why would she make something like that up? I do not know why Lena Dunham, the Duke accuser, or Rolling Stone's sources made up their stories. I only know that they did. Along those lines, I can't read Christine Blasey Ford's mind. I can, though, determine her brief for bringing down Brett Kavanaugh seems to be growing weaker by the news cycle. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.